Okay, Reggie. Um, before we get into this week's questions, was there anything that you wanted to speak on or touch on before we get started? No, no, no. Just make sure y'all tune in later in the week. Uh, James will be back, and uh, he'll be shooting some episodes with us. And so, uh, yeah, don't forget to still subscribe to Still Bombing uh, Podcast as well. So it'll be up on Still Bomb- Bombing Podcast, and uh, and then also over here with us on Bomb First. So yeah, other than that, um, hey, happy birthday, Gemini's. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is on YouTube, they're doing, you know, kind of, I, I don't know. I feel like they, they did it as a way to combat Dear Mama, but they didn't have a TV deal for it, so they should put it on YouTube. But Angie Martinez is hosting like a biggie um, discussion where they break down different topics and songs and things like that. But one thing that was talked about this week that struck a, ne- a nerve with um, with Gene, Gene Deal is Gene has always said that, that Biggie didn't want to be in L.A., that he wanted to go to London. But um, on the YouTube series, Little C spoke, and he said, like, I want to clear something up. He said, uh, you know, it was Big's decision not to go to London, that he did not want to go to London because all of his people didn't have their passports and he wasn't going to have the same kind of staff around him that he would normally have had. And that set off Gene. But I I don't know if you saw this and if so, if you have any thoughts about kind of how there's conflicting information when it comes to that. Yeah. um, Well, I always, I I, I didn't see Jeannie's own reaction. Um, I saw where Lil C's uh, put that out there and all I ever say, they can't, they still can't get their story straight. <laughs> is what I think once I saw that, I was like, these dudes just can't get their story straight. They don't know what's the party line's going to be. Uh, there's one minute, you know, they're not going because he didn't want to go and promote the album. Uh, you know, he needed to go to promote the album. They were about to get on the plane to go. And now Lil C's coming out with this, uh, this theory, which I, I, I believe, I guess, but you know, everybody wanted to say he was rushing out of LA to go to fly to London. And you know, you had Carl Burroughs that told his story. You have Gene, that, you know, telling his version. And now you have Little C's. All I just say, I wish they all get on the same page and, um, you know, stop always telling, you know, the different versions, which, you know, you got Lil C's, even with the shooting situation, goes and says, I didn't see shit. But then one ver- one day they say, you know, Gene gets mad because he's saying, Lil C said, Lil C said. It's kind of tell y'all, man, they on a different page. Gene's putting himself in the situations that he just don't know. And he put his opinion with a loud voice saying what he believes. That's all I'm saying. This man keeps saying that he saw a man stick his head in a car window and then five minutes later supposed to be sitting in a car and fire shots. But then the next breath, he's telling us he told the car that he was in to blow lights. Well, if you're telling them to blow the lights, but you can also see the person that fired the shots into the car, who you saw five minutes earlier, who ran down the street, got himself positioned in a car and positioned to do a shooting. Just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. I just think people are adding things and not people, Gene. It's adding stories to make himself relevant to the situation. All I believe Gene saw is a guy come and look suspicious that was outside hunting for niggas that's being in, in town looking for trouble. 
or looking to see who it can extort. And that's my boy Shahid. That's what Shahid did outside every club. Him and this little young dude named Magic. They, they prayed and now Big U and Suge later on in life prayed on all the towners to see how they can get money from them. Make them pay taxes for coming into LA. That's what was going on. They were on no athletes. All the athletes had to pay back in the day from Magic Johnson on. But, you know, too deep for a lot of y'all. I don't know if John played the, play with, with, you know, the different stories or if he could, but if he can't, they out there. And yeah, that's, that's what I get from that. But all I just ask is, y'all gonna keep telling these stories? Get on the same page, y'all. Get on the same page. For those of y'all already typing, y'all ain't on the same page. Now nah, we on the same page. Everybody, everybody. Y'all done heard Alan Hughes. Every interview y'all done heard. Keep the D shot to Pac Shakur. Only motherfuckers that say the police and, and this and that and Reggie or shit is like that. You stupid crackers. Well, you stupid people that want to listen to old white men. That want to believe that they was pushing their theory that they ran off of YouTube. You don't hear them no more now that everybody's telling the truth. They're all gone. They're all gone. So, you know, all I say is get on the same page. Believe what you believe. Miss Wallace told y'all. She believed 97% of what Murder Rap reported. Y'all need to stop with these fake theories and, and stuff. I know the subject wasn't about the theory of of the shooting and all that, but that's what it all boils back to. That's what it all boils back to. Big and L was out here two to three months prior, as he says in that interview, two months prior in L.A. Gene would make y'all think Puffy's responsible because he made him come out there two to three days prior. That's not factual. That's not factual. 